23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. The city of Shafter has officially extended its emergency order. At the city council meeting tonight, the council voted unanimously to extend the order. The city manager says it will be extended until the governor ends the emergency declaration in the state or until the council votes to end it. The city manager says by extending the order, it allows them to activate elements of its emergency response team and apply for reimbursements from FEMA. A local smoke shop was cited by the health department for remaining open when they were designated as a non-essential business. According to Public Health, the WOW Smoke and Vape Shop on Airport Drive in Oildale was forced to close its doors and was cited. It's only the second business that's been cited during the COVID-19 pandemic for not closing when they were supposed to. The first citation was issued to a gym in downtown Bakersfield. The head of the California Department of Motor Vehicles said today he hopes to begin reopening field offices this month as the agency improves safeguards in response to coronavirus. Officials say some activities, including on-the-road driving tests, will take longer to bring back. DMV Director Steve Gordon said he's planning to reopen the agency's 170 field offices to in-person visits by appointment in phases, with 25 likely to open this month and all offices opening within about 30 days afterward. He said the schedule for reopening depends on approval from state health officials. Even then, customers will be asked to wear face masks and observe social distancing rules inside the offices. And with the warmer temperatures, we are monitoring periods of gusty winds. The National Weather Service has issued a wind advisory for our mountain and desert areas, and that is in effect until tomorrow morning around 5 a.m. But other than that, temperatures are warming up, and we're staying in the mainly clear skies and sunny skies out there. Air quality for tomorrow will be in the moderate range. We'll have an AQI of 61. And here's a look at the Futurecast wind model that shows those windy to blustery conditions in our mountain and desert areas. Those winds speed should die down by Thursday morning, but we're just going to continue to monitor that as for Wednesday. But again, that advisory expires tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. So here's a look at our highs and our lows. Our lows for tonight, we're looking at lows in the 50s, 57 for Bakersfield, 55 for McFarland, 48 in Tehachapi, and 43 in Fraser Park. Tomorrow's highs, we're looking at 84 in McFarland, 89 in Ridgecrest, pretty warm out in China Lake at 95, 71 in Tehachapi, and 63 in Fraser Park. So like I said, those temperatures are going to heat right on up tomorrow. We're expecting a high of 84. By Thursday, we'll see again that 90 degree heat, but it doesn't compare to what we're going to see on Friday with the high of 97 and we'll cool down just a tad on Saturday with the high of 96. And by Sunday, Mother's Day, we'll see a high of 94. But again, mainly dry weather with clear skies. So it's still a beautiful week ahead as far as there's no rain in the forecast. In our mountain areas, we're looking at pretty warm temperatures as well as that warming trend continues. 78 tomorrow for Kern River Valley for your high. To Hatchby, you'll have a high of 71 and Fraser Park a high of 69. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23.com.